Hello, good day, family. Welcome to Be Tech Mechatronic. Today episode, um, what we have is S Class W two two zero, um, selector lever. This is the old selector lever I have. Disassembled the, um, the PCB. This is the PCB that controls the shift, and it has dri drive authorization. So when you get a used one like this one, this is the used one. Um, I'm going to program it for the two two zero. With that program it, the car will not. Uh, it will start, but the you cannot shift the gear to reverse or drive. So it, it needs to be programmed. And what you are using to program this uh, model is CG Prog. This is my CG Pro. Um, I have already disordered the processor, which is 1D six, 1D 69J. Um, let me place this one here. Um, never mind, my table is very mess. It is very very mess. Um, I will disassemble this one. This is the old one. So I'm um, right after reading the data of the old. So little lever then i'll proceed to dismantle this one and remove the pcb and so that I, I can read and write the data so this is it and i have a k400 this is my ak400 but the ak400 is the cable the cable has port um, the cable is not working and my ak500 too is you know having a tough time does not read so i decided to try cg1 yeah um, I decided to try with CG Pro. CG Pro. This is a CG Pro. So this is my heat gun. I have used it to disorder the chip. So this is the chip. I solder it over this section. So um, I have already opened this thing. So let me quickly go to chip. So this is Motorola IC. So we scroll down to Motorola. Um, it's AC. This is AC is one, yeah, ACA. Uh, this is it, one D sixty nine J. So we click on it, then we hit on diagram to see. This is the procedure. This is how you're supposed to mount a pick. This is the pick, and this is the adapter. Both are adapter bits. Normally, people call this one pick. So um, I have so that the chip according to the information provided anytime you see a processor with a small dot like this that means a small small dot like this one over here it means that is where our p1 start from so this is our p1 um, let me zoom in let me zoom so this is our p1 as you can see it has been indicated over here so the chip the direction has to be onto this session so you get your p1 from this session so that is that um now we go straight to the this thing to click on read um click on read so um this is what is happening over there over here so this is it yes we, we got a good communication so it has ready data we need to save it so um i need to create a folder on a desktop um, let me close this session i will come back and save it so let me rename it to cap s class Es no no selector lever S class let me let me make it this then um, we click on here then we go back to click save um, desktop S class then um, 
we have to rename it old data selector selector Let me do it all data, all data then we click on save so um, with this one you can see the data proper uh, properly so I will do some I will check because the uh, I'm going to click on this so okay that is the byte uh, and that's the data in it uh -huh. so there is no change that means it's okay so let me pause here. i wanted to pause on this session and then um i will take this one disorder it and resolder it over here so i'm going to take it off taking it off so i'm going to do so that i sent to it normal position on the pcb successful over here um so i'm going to use the sodinarion to lead back so that um, the pins will sit on the distant family um i need to add flux onto it so um you, let me pause here when I start doing it, to yeah, explain one or two things for someone who does not know anything about these things. Um, the reason why I still have to program this thing is that um, one may say that um, is it not plug and play? No, this is not plug and play because this selector lever has um, it has the key hashes in it. So in order for it to work, you need to program it. It is either you uh, you have a version of the um, this letter lever, then you authorize it, or unless you take the this thing the processor, this is one D sixty nine J, unless you take this processor out and read it. That's the only way you can program this type of um, letter lever, and this is S class two two zero is very is very very complex. So um, sometimes. When you are working on on it it becomes something that you need to pay uh, very attention to it so uh, i'm done i'm done you know so during this one i'm done he left with a new one so i'm going to strip it apart and take the pc be out and then do the same thing to it Stay on my lap because um the table is full i have taken the distance the new one i've taken one out one out i have taken the distance out there is the old one the old one is still here um so um i'm going to open the pin up i'm going to take these screws out then open the board and then work on it let me so the new one has been opened. This is the new one. I'm going to read the data, then write the data back onto it. So this is the old one, it's still there, and this is the new one. The chip has been, you know, disordered and soldered onto the PCB. As you can see over here, the PCB. I have been soldered it over here and transferred the distance over here. So we are going to read. So we click on read. So we have a good read over there. Then we set for the S class again. And click on C. Um, we have to rename it and make it new. Data. 
Isi. Sini data dan we click save. Um, we need to compare the data and see if the data indeed there is difference in them or not. So what we are going to do is that we click. Let me start it again so that this is the old data. Then we click copy. Then wait on again. New. Oh damn, bro! I can't name my destiny. Um. So. Um. Let me open the old data again. Then we click on compare file, which is the new data. And click open. As you can see, there is already differences in them. That means the data, um, there are different difference in them. So, we, um, this is the SSID, probably that this one. Yeah, um, uh, I'm so sure. No, this is not the SSID. Probably the SSID will be either here or here. I need to verify that those ones again so um that is it so we are going to read write the data onto the new one so we click on our programmer then we click on open then we click on old data then we, we hit on open then we click on write then we click ok So it's verifying the data and then it's all right. Now we we have write the, we have written the data successful. So we are going to read in order to know whether what we have done is okay or not. We read the data and save it back. So I'm going to read the data then I will save it then compare the data and see um, this one I will just make it one one for it to be simple for us to you know compare. So we are click on compare data. Um, let me click on it for you to see again. We click here, which is compare. Then we click on the one one, which is the the one we just read. As you can see, the data has verified, which means it is okay. Now I'm going to disorder the chip. I'm going to disorder the chip from this one and transfer it over here. So um, let me pause here so this is how um we use to program w220 um selector lever mind you with without program programming it the car will not start the car will not um the gear will not shift to reverse or drive so that is it um i'm just zooming in for you to see what i'm doing that is it Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and be part of the awesome family. Family. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.